Oh my god, guys, this video I have been editing for three days and at some point I thought maybe I should just throw it away, maybe it's just not good. But then I'm like, I've been editing for three days, so I'm gonna put it out. So, oh my god, I don't know this video. I hope you enjoy it. For sure, the challenge of this one was editing and not whatever is in my video. I had one hour of content and had to make it into less than 10 minutes and I got a headache now. <laughs> but remember, this is not a tutorial. My broken toe is making me very creative. Right now, it's been broken for two weeks, so I cannot walk on it, which means I'm walking, you can see, on the inside of my foot. But that also means that my ankle is getting, like this part is getting all inflammated. You can see it's swollen. So I got creative. I was like, maybe I can make crutches. So right now, <laughs> I'm being creative with all of this. I don't know if it's going to work, but you can be part of the process. Here we go. So what I did, I found these two. They are super light, so that's perfect. I made a little hole in both of them with my cool machine. And then I went back to where all the stuff is, looking for something strong that can bear my weight. And I just found two of these. I don't know what it's for. But it's quite strong and it's kind of perfect and it just happens to have the right size of the hole I made and it looks like the right size to hold on to, I don't know. So now I'm putting these ones in, then I wanted something that could serve as a handle, something over this one because this is gonna be painful. Then I found this, it's metal or I don't know. It's very heavy, that's a shame. But I also have the machine to cut parts of this. So, I don't know, I think I'm gonna try that. And then I was thinking about putting a rope through the top of this to like support everything from the top. So when I'm leaning on it, it's also supported by the rope. <laughs> we'll see, that's, uh, that's me being crazy creative. could have been slightly bigger but then it would not be so strong so I'm actually happy that it's really tight just a bit harder work now but more happiness later so I also don't want it to go through all the way past this I want this still to keep it all in place like out maybe till here so it can attach the rope and I still have to do the other one. I'm gonna be all inflammated here. <laughs> Okay, this is a scary one. I'm gonna need gloves.
this one is open. Just a bit dirty. It's warm as well. On the cut. Because otherwise, I'm screwed. I never hurt myself with the big machines, I hurt myself with the small ones. Come on now. I think it's not going to work. I'm going to use something like a towel or something. But the rope. I'm gonna do the rope now. thick socks to make the handle softer. I'm not a big fan of the idea really. But right now I cannot think of anything else. I think it's gonna break very fast. It doesn't feel strong. But the sock is not too bad honestly. I'm just making it so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Not so happy anymore about the project. Anyway, you could say it was a success. The only thing is, I don't really trust it so much. And if I'm using it and it breaks, I'm going to be in even bigger trouble than a broken toe, maybe. But it, yeah, it works. I think if I carefully use this, it could help me to get rid of the inflammation. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> 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 